Hi there, my name is Michael Beal. I want to show you just a little bit about how to customize your ribbon. You have tabs across the ribbon, you have panels, but you've probably been wondering, hey, can I put my own tab up there? Absolutely. To do that, we're going to go into the customization user interface, customize user interface. You simply type CUI. There's probably several other ways to get in there. I type CUI to get in there. Up under the customization in all files, what we're going to do is scroll down to the bottom. And we always recommend you put your custom items under the partial customization files. So I expand partial customization files, expand custom, and expand ribbon. There we see a node for tabs and one for panels. So we'll right click on tabs. We'll make a new tab. And yesterday we made one called AU10 tab. So we'll do that. Now that makes a tab. Now we need a panel. So we're gonna right click on panels, go new panel. Not real creative here, we'll be AU10 panel on that one, all right? So underneath AU10 panel, you see row one and a couple of other nodes, but what we need to do is we need to get the command we want up there into row one. I'm gonna click down here in the list of commands, go to PDF underlay. And I like that PDF underlay feature. We're gonna take the PDF underlay, we're gonna drag that command up across the county line, and we're gonna release it next to row one. So we've associated a command to the panel, but we have a tab. We make, need to make a relationship now between the panel and the tab. So I'm going to take the panel, I'm going to drag that up, and release it next to the tab. All right, so now we have that tab-panel relationship going. One other thing we have to do is we have to tell AutoCAD what workspace we want to associate this tab with. So I have an AutoCAD University 2010 workspace that I created. So I'm going to select that particular workspace. And over here on the right-hand side, in the upper right quadrant, you see the workspace contents and a button that says Customize Workspace. You click that Customize Workspace button, two things happen. You have blue line items underneath the workspace contents. And then over here under Customization, it scrolls down to where you made your tab. You put a check in the box. Now you need to click once to get rid of the green box and then check one more time. That'll put a green check in there, all right? So that establishes that relationship. On the right, we're gonna go back up and click the word done at the top. You click done. Now let's go down and click okay out of the customized user interface. Wait for it. Click your AU10 tab. And sure enough, there's your PDF underlay on your AU10 panel. That's a real quick overview. I think you can probably do some fun things with that one.